lovely to have the sun in my eyes, but it doesn't help me. But it was a pleasure visiting Overwater Marina again. I think we're leaving just in time. The wind's getting up, but we had a beautiful breakfast. Wonderful service. I do enjoy it there. Please, if you're passing. Oh, cool in. So we're at Audlem at the moment. There's a lovely gap with our name on it there, but I'm going to go wind. Yeah, we want to turn around first, and in the centre hatch will be towpath side, uh, the right side for Bella, because that's her entrance and exit really for the boat. So at least we don't have to worry about opening the centre hatch doors and pushing her in. So here we are, all moored up, and it looks like Chugs is in good company. Look at this beautiful old workboat here. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the difference in the bows to the old work boats, to the new leisure boats. <laughs> yeah, so we're moored up here in Audlem. Uh, we may be staying just for tonight, I don't know. Uh, plans can change all the time on the canals. Um, so we'll wait and see, but one thing I know is my feet are cold, but we do need some shopping. Bella's out, she's down here, she's having a wonder. Uh, we do need a little bit of shopping, so we are going to walk into town, get some shopping. Um, yeah, and that's it, really. If I see anything that we need to film, I'll film it and share it with you. If not, I'll probably see you tomorrow. Wow, what a glorious morning. It's Thursday, February the 10th. We've had a lovely stay here in Audlem. It is a most enjoyable little town. We've had a walk around the town. The kids were looking for geocache. We had a look by the church. Uh, beautiful, beautiful snowdrops everywhere. Um, it was just a gorgeous walk. Uh, yeah, another lovely experience here in Audlem. Uh, if you've got a boat, come and have a look. It, is wonderful I'm getting buzzed by a helicopter <laughs> but what we're gonna do now we're gonna make our way back towards Bar Bridge and en route of course we're gonna pick Nikki's boat up uh, so we'll be moored up there uh, for a night or two just sorting things out sorry this helicopter is getting very close um, yeah, uh, sorting things out, uh, getting everything sorted to put stuff back on our boat, and then we're going to cruise through. We do have a little plan. Uh, whether it'll come to fruition or not, I don't know, but we do have a plan, and of course I'll share that with you uh, when we get there. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, we're going to cool, uh, go that way a little bit, uh, use the facilities again very briefly in uh, the marina, in Overwater Marina, and then head on and have a peaceful couple of days, I think, in Cool Pilot, and then head down through Nantwich and down towards Bar Bridge and as I say, picking Nicky's boat up en route. But uh, yeah, thank you Audlem for another one. And now, a little bit of that canal magic. Well, good morning. It's Friday the 11th of February. The sun's out, it's lovely and that wind has dropped. And as you can see, we are in a different place. We are in a place called Cool Pilot. You've seen it before, we moored here on the way down. We had a lovely stop in Audlem. We had a beautiful mooring. Um, we had lovely walks, saw the snowdrops. We went around the church. We just went exploring. Uh, I just love Audlem, a uh, beautiful place, but we stayed there for about three or four nights. And it was really, really nice. But here at Cool Pilot, it gives you, oh, it's like sanctuary. There's, there's nothing here. Nobody can see you, you're, you're out on your own. Uh, there's only uh, chugs and one other boat here. It's just so peaceful. But we are going to be joined shortly by another boat. Um, I've been watching a vlog for some time and it's a gentleman called Steve. His vlog is called A Slow Boat Through Britain. Please check it out. He, he deserves a lot more subscribers. His channel is peaceful, it's mellow. If ever you want time out, one of his oh sorry about that <laughs> put one of his vlogs on it's 
amazing. Um, he's a gentleman, he's a, he's a lovely chap, and we're just about to meet him. He's going to cruise up, he's moored a little bit further down there. And uh, I got in contact with him last night, I noticed his boat. His boat's called Moorland Rose, and I noticed this boat up there, so he's going to cruise up this morning and come and have a coffee with us, so that'll be nice. But his vlogs are amazing, so please check him out. Well, there's definitely a boat coming. I've been following Steve's vlogs for some time and they are really relaxing. They're very good quality, so please check them out. And uh, I introduced Nikki to them as well the other day and she enjoys them too. So she's on the boat. She's looking forward to meeting Steve. Uh, incidentally, I phoned my good friend Kevin up the other day. Kevin country house gent i'm sure if you're watching this you'll know all about country house gent uh we've arranged to meet him we had a lovely chat with him he's great he's in good spirits and uh, we're going to be meeting him in a few weeks time so uh, we're really looking forward to it uh we've arranged to meet him so uh yeah life's good right let's see how steve is Good morning, Steve! Hi, Gary! How are you, mate? You alright? I'll be alright if I can see something. I know! <laughs> it is very bright! <laughs> oh, it's lovely to finally meet Steve. Um, yeah, I've watched his vlogs for some time. So calming. Uh, please check them out, but uh, I'm just going to have a word with Nicky. Coffee, black, one sugar. Right, nice to meet you, Steve. I'll yeah, see you again, mate. Take care. care. Enjoy Audlem. Thanks for the coffee. <laughs> no problem. Something stronger next time. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Thank you. Yes, I noticed his boat uh, moored up by Hack Green Locks when we were on our way through, and I managed to get in touch with him, and he moored up, and we had a nice couple of cups of coffee and a sit-down and a chat. It was lovely. Um, yeah, well he's gone now, he's popped into Overwater Marina actually for a pump out and little bits and bobs of water. Uh, I'm waiting for Chamberlain Fuel Boat to come. I've booked in, uh, we need fuel and logs and stuff, so uh, he's due any time now, so uh, yeah, looking out for him. But at the moment I'm going to put these chairs away, that's where we sat and had a coffee. I'm going to put the chairs away uh, and we've got the fire lit and the central heating on. It is very cold, so I'm going to go and get some soup and warm up uh, when we're waiting for Richie on the fuel boat. Well, we were sat in the boat and we noticed uh, the fuel boat coming alongside here with uh, their butty. They've got the butty, which is basically a boat that isn't, hasn't got an engine in it. It gets pulled by the powered boat. Uh, and they're on their way now, uh, headed north up the Shropshire Union. Uh, yeah, there's Ruth. <laughs> so uh, they're just checking if they've got hot water. They've got a generator running on the front just so they can get some hot water. But yeah, you can normally recognize a butty for two reasons. One reason is it's getting towed by a powered boat. And the other reason is the very large rudders that are on the back. As uh, you're not drawing water over the rudder, they need a big rudder uh, to help steer the boat. And Ruth operates normally the butty. And Rich does the powered boat at the front. So let's get fueled up. Thanks a lot, Rich. Thanks for that, mate. Take care now.
At least you've got the quiet end, Ruth. <laughs> No, <laughs> at least you got the fire by you. Nice and warm. Take care, Ruth. Take care, darling. Bye bye. It's always nice to see the fuel boat and support the fuel boat. Believe me, they are the angels of the waterways to us liverboards, especially in the winter. It uh, doesn't matter what the weather's doing, even if the canals are frozen over, they will always get the fuel to you. Amazing. Hi, uh, beautiful boat. What year is she? 19, beautiful boat. It's a cold, wet, windy Monday morning, the 14th of February. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, we're moving. We have to move today. We have to get um, Nikki's boat and we do have to move today. I'm meeting Amy tomorrow, hopefully at the Bar Bridge. We're going to try and get to the Bar Bridge, but we've got really strong winds coming in. This week is going to get worse every day. That's why we've got to make a move today. Um, up to 60 odd miles an hour, no, 70 odd miles an hour by Friday, which isn't boating weather. But we've enjoyed our stay here at Cool Pilot. We've seen wonderful sunsets and sunrises. Unfortunately, <laughs> we've certainly seen a fair um, amount of wind, very, very windy weather. We had waves, white horses coming down the canal for the last couple of days, but we've enjoyed our stay here. I've always had a soft spot for Cool Pilot. It's lovely. Uh, and in the night, we've had company. There's another boat moored up down there, but we have had a couple of days on our own here. It's been, uh, it's been magical, but it's time to get wet. It's time to get cold. I have got a very large it's a barber coat, one of these long ones that was given to, to me by my good friend Bernie. So hello Bernie. Uh, so if the rain gets bad, I'm going to put that on and that will keep me dry. It goes right down virtually to your ankles, um, which is okay. I couldn't do locks in it, uh, but of course I've got Nikki and Nikki is going to do the locks. We've only got the two locks at Hack Green, even if we just go to Nantwich or if we go to Barbridge, there's only the two locks. So right, Ooh, this is going to be a miserable cruise. I hate the rain. Well, just got to hack green locks and they're not set for us. And somebody's been very lazy and left the gates open here. So I'll have to shut these and fill the pound. It's a very miserable day. This weather wasn't forecast. It's supposed to be cold, a little bit windy, but dry. And the sky is black behind me. Uh, we were thinking of just backing up here a bit and just going on the rings and, and just ride it out, but we have definitely got to move. We've got to be in Nantwich for tomorrow or Barbridge. Um, and with these stronger winds coming in, we've got no chance. <laughs> This is miserable. <laughs> oh, I'm wetter than a wet thing's wet thing at the moment. 
I couldn't film all the way from Hat Green. The rain has bounced down. Uh, we've just moored up, well, we moored up about 20 minutes ago. Nikki's just come back from the shop, from the little shop around the corner. Uh, we're going to cruise to the services. We've just uh, been issued a weather warning for strong winds and heavy rains the next few days. So we've just got to keep moving. We've got to get uh, to Nikki's boat and we've got to get moored up before these storms come. Um, it's got to be done. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I can try and film a little bit, but no guarantee. <laughs> Just in the short time that we were moored there, quite a few boats have actually gone past, even in this weather. So I think everyone else is uh, heeding the weather warning and making a move when they can. That's one of the joys of boating. And here we go again. Yes, now the familiar sight of Nantwich services. What's going on with this coat, Bernie? I mean, <laughs> it's a lovely coat, but I've stayed lovely and dry. I feel a bit like a murderer wearing this somehow. It's, uh, yeah, mm, very cloak and dagger. Uh, but yeah, back at Nantwich services. Uh, virtually used the services now. Uh, just having a final top up with water. And, uh, yeah, we'll be on our way, but the rain stopped for now. Uh, there was no rain forecast for today, and as ever, it piddled down. Uh, but never mind. So, uh, we're nearly done. Just keep an eye on the water. Oh, we'll soon be on our way again. Well, that's the services done. It is very, very cold out here. Um, oh, and I'm very damp. Uh, I don't know whether we'll get to Barbridge. Uh, we may just uh, moor up short of it because it is bitterly cold out here. Uh, Nikki has offered to, to swap with me so she can uh, elm the boat for a bit, but of course I'm not going to let her do that. So uh, we're just going to cruise for a little while. We may make it to Barbridge, we may not. Let's see. This has got to be, without doubt, one of the coldest, wettest, most miserable cruises I think I've ever done. Uh, but it's got to be done, that's the difference. But I can see uh, Nicky must have put some more coal on the fire, the chimney's starting to smoke, so there'll be a nice hot fire waiting for me when I get in. Well, the rain's eased a little bit, but I am very, very cold. Uh, not too far to go now to Barbridge. My, boot, my boots, my feet, everything soaked through to the skin. I've uh, had the, the umbrella up, but unfortunately that's, uh, that blew inside out. So uh, that is no more, but uh, another 10 minutes anyway, I'll be moored up. Oh, I'm looking forward to that nice hot shower. 